Welcome back to my Demon Souls New Game Plus Pure Black playthrough, Shrine of Storms. This is exactly where we left off last time. Oh, obviously I took a break from the game, that's why I'm up here and not down there. But yeah, nothing changed, I still had the Ring of Avarice equipped, so you're not missing out on anything here. Pick up all the stuff that's here. I think there was one more item somewhere around here. Figures I haven't played the game for quite some time. Oh, there it is. And I don't even know if this is good or, uh, or not. Already got the soul. Everything's good. And there we go. This was giving me a lot of a lot of concern when I started this because in pure black you're gonna fight some really 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 heavy enemies here. But yeah, let's see how it goes. There's great for oblige. We meet again. You look terrible. Cheer up. Life is an adventure. <laughs> well yes, life is an adventure, man. Everything's cool, everything's colorful. Yeah, fuck you, man. You have no idea what the fuck's waiting down there, do you? Prepare myself with some soul remains here. It came in handy on the on the first level here. Are we stocking on arrows, maybe? I think I go with 150, it should be very well enough. All done. Good day. Be sure not to get yourself killed. No, I can't promise anything, man. I made a shortcut here, don't worry. I just died. <laughs> Against uh, Grim Reaper. And I decided to take him out from the range this time. I don't know, it's fun. Oh, whoa, 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 fuck. And I can't equip the Dozer X and the bow at once. Gotta do some leveling up, but... Yeah, the only restriction for this run is not returning to the Nexus until I got one stage done completely. That means I gotta kill Storm... Storm Ruler... Storm... Storm King. Storm Ruler was the sword. Storm King. And yeah, the bow is not really upgraded. I think it isn't even upgraded. I just picked it up from the first level. Yeah, it's not upgraded at all. Yeah, maybe a stone fang would have been the the best idea to 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 visit first. I don't know. I'll take that. But this is also a good place to farm some souls. You can just kill the Grim Reaper. From over here, obviously, you want to upgrade your bow in order to do so, because otherwise it's going to take forever. But yeah, he's going to respawn those those ghostly creatures, and if you kill the Grim Reaper, you kill all of them at once, which is a good thing. But keep in mind that they die with a little bit of delay, so. If things are getting a little bit close, you might want to get some distance from them if you're in a pinch or something. So don't expect to kill the Grim Reaper and they will die as well. Because they can still hit you for the final blow, so keep that in mind. But overall, you can get quite amount of souls here. It's, it's, it's not too bad, especially on pure black. But I wouldn't recommend doing it this way. There's there's a better way. After you kill the old hero, I recommend using his archstone and walking a little bit backwards to kill the Grim Reaper that you encounter first because he will give you a little bit more souls and this one does not very very much. It's not much of a difference. But you can still proceed and get the, the Black Phantom Dual Katana skeleton from behind. And if you're clever about it, you can knock him off the off the area, knock him off the and yeah, well, just 
Just kill him with the environments because otherwise it's gonna take forever to kill him. Yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of souls from that. Oh, the demons haven't got to you, have they? <laughs> I'm in luck. You see that pit? It's filled with treasure. But uh, I can't get to it myself. Go on, have a look. It's more riches than I've ever dreamed of. That's it. That pit just there. Go on, get a little closer. Oh, there's one over there. Oh man, you're a real nice guy, man. I gotta check it out. Hmm, no, wait, there's no treasure down there. What are you talking about? Hey, whoa! <laughs> Don't hold it against me, eh? Take your time starving to death. Then I'll sell every last trinket off your corpse. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Patches is just awesome. I love the man. I love the man. There we have Saint Urbane. Well, the reverberate, but dark, but have pray with Umbasa. Umbasa! Umbasa! Oh, yes! So awesome. There's the Makoto. You can pick it up on pure white tenancy. This is the dual katana black phantom. You notice one of his swords is a hiltless. So every time he strikes with his, his right handed weapon, he's gonna damage himself for 3% of his max, max HP. So basically, all you have to do is block his hits with a 100% physical blocking shield. But remember, it has to be the right one. The left one will not damage him. The right one, however, will. That's a good thing. So basically, I, I, sh I don't need to do anything at all here. But obviously I will, because otherwise it's gonna take forever. Bam! Hyper armor gets you, son. I don't think he can heal himself, so I can take this can take this a little bit easier this time. Yeah, I think there are only two black phantoms that can actually heal me. Look at that! You just poised through my hits. What the hell is this? <laughs> Look at him. He's gonna kill himself. Why are you doing this to yourself? Oh god, why? Chunk of Dark Moonstone. I think it's a guaranteed drop. Oh, it's you. Did you cleanse the world of another dark soul today? God has chosen Umbasa. Umbasa. Yeah, well. That sword, the Makoto, I don't know how good it is, but you get a task from Satsuki to give it to him on pure white you can see him in body form and yeah if you give it to him he's gonna attack you he's gonna say something like oh well, you did a good job now die motherfucker and then you can pick it up anyway so yeah but keep in mind that killing you, you. killing him will change the wall tendency hey, look, I'm really sorry I didn't mean what I said well, I mean, a man's got to make a living right here, look. I can make up for it. There aren't many humans like us. We need to stick together. I know. Here, take this as a token of my friendship. You've seen one of these before, surely. Yeah, well, I got that one already. Well, it's a gut patches. <laughs> Come on. Let's be friends. What do you say? Dude, no you need just to drag each other down. fucking tried to kill me, you know, but uh, whatever. You got the same shield as I, so. Well, this time you're gonna survive. Or maybe not? Oh, well, he does. I'll let him live. I'll let him live. 
So what else we got? Oh yeah, there's a stone of a family ice up here, which is not this one. Um, further up, it's protected by a trap. There's also a hidden doorway. A hidden doorway? What the fuck? A hidden door, man. What am I talking about? There it is. Well, I just walk by it. No, don't hit it. Don't. Oh my god. That was the wrong one. <laughs> Well, whatever. I think everybody knows about it. There's a katana skeleton, which can be used to farm bladestones. Although I I think I cannot confirm it, but I think the katana Black Phantom version will drop it more often than the normal version, but don't quote me here, but it, it'll make sense to me at least. Alright, so gotta be careful. These guys are a little bit more aggressive on pure black tendency. My god. <laughs> well, it looks like this doesn't really work. Alright, let's just pull these guys. One by one. That's how you want to play the game. Oh, come on. You damn. Asshole. Now you see, you can cheese him a little bit here. There you go, motherfucker. Oh, he's falling off, man. Might as well use all of the grass now. Alright, let's pull the next one. Alright, come, oh. Yeah, well, that's also nice. Thank you very much. That's an easy way to take care of him. <laughs> Alright, so now let's go get a little bit personal here. Up close and personal, motherfucker, die. Oh, he dodged it like a boss. But it's no good, man. It's no good. You get a lot of souls from these guys, man. That's really cool. But then again, you have to keep in mind that all of these enemies are actually... Um, like the, the blue eyes knights from Boletarian Palace, because they have those, those blue eyes as well. And I think it's meant to be this way. Because they are really tough. If you think about it, all of those skeletons, each of them is is indeed really strong. So it's only natural that you get more souls here. And if you think about it, it's rather cool that these guys are actually your standard enemies for, <laughs> for this whole level. So figures you shouldn't go here in the first place. Alright, I got one down. I think that one is always the one that's aggroing on you. But I'm not sure. I'm just... Right now I'm just playing this out of memory from almost two years ago. There we go. Oh, this time I pulled them both at once. Wow. Uh, if you watched uh, the video of me trying to to, to lure them in the, f in the first video, in the, in the first level of Shrine of Storms, you know how these guys have limited vision, but, well, this time, they don't give a fuck. Oh well, they lost interest already, that's good. Yeah, this time they have much more vision, it appears. A little bit more aggro range, so to say. And you, see, you can see the blue eyes. So I think these guys are meant to be the like the knights. No, that was the running attack. Not too bad. The two-handed version. That one is a lot tougher. Bam. Bam. Oh my god, he's not dead. There we go. Nice. I like it how enemies grow stronger if you proceed through the levels, so... In the first area of Phrenostorms, 
three of the strong strong attacks would have been enough to kill one of these. Now it's not enough anymore. Bam. 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 And there we go. Took a hit there. Somehow we managed to, to get it done. Chuck a plate stone. That's nice. But I don't need it really. Well, but it doesn't hurt, right? Maybe I keep on going with this character a little bit more. New game plus 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 plus. Who knows? Who knows? This game is drawing my attention a little bit now. I don't know. Seeing the Dark Souls 2 footage and how it has a little bit of the Demon Souls touch is. Yeah. One of the reasons why I'm coming back to this. But the main reason, obviously, is the Demon Souls Madness Challenge. And this is the perfect warm up. Oh, nice, man. Those are some nice bow skills you got there. Let's go. Now one thing I forgot to do, one thing that you're gonna you're gonna notice if you watch this whole playthrough is that I didn't have the sil dark silver shield with me to to block the the magic attacks that these ghostly creatures are coming up with now because they have this this laser whatever thingy which is hard to dodge. I don't know if it's even possible to dodge. So you want a shield with high magic resistance, with high magic block. The dark silver shield blocks 100%. And I didn't bring it here, so... Basically what I was trying to say is that... With the restriction of me... That I can only enter an area... And leave it after... After I got it completely done... That means you, you gotta think about what you bring into the, into the world before you enter it because there's no way back once you're inside that you'd get a shield is better suited for this and yeah you're gonna notice if you watch if you watch this whole playthrough that I'm not very good at making preparations <laughs> I keep telling myself all right next time you, you, you gotta bring this and you gotta you gotta bring that and <laughs> I'm not gonna do it anyways. <laughs> By the time I I, I enter the, the next world, I completely forgot about my plans and yeah, well <laughs> You're gonna see me missing a few things that could have been important to bring to this world. There we go. But it's okay, adjudicate a shield. Bam! Not gonna fuck around with this guy. Alright, that's quite some souls. Thank you very much. And now here you have this little ambush by those shadow assassins, as I like to call them. So what I'm doing always is hug the wall keep my shield up. They'll eventually attack you and expose themselves. There we go. They're not very strong. Their attacks have very, very ranged. Very ranged, yeah. What the fuck, man. Very limited range, that's what I wanted to say. So the Dozer X will take care of them really fast, no problem. They also move rather slow. Oh, there's skulls on the wall, man. I never noticed, noticed that before. Wow. Still learning new things. There's another ambush over there if you pick up those items. And here I was thinking about triggering it or not because there are two black phantoms coming up of the of the large, big ass sword wielding skeletons. And I thought, man, I could use some space to fight. So maybe I want to take care of these girls first. Let's see if I can lure them. <laughs> Doesn't work. Doesn't work. You have to actually go there and use yourself as bait, unfortunately. So I decided not to take any chances here. 
Okay, yeah, I heard something moving there. And I thought maybe I triggered them to spawn and now they're coming for me. But they're not. Alright, there we go. Black Phantom version of those guys is bad news. So I decided to use Soul Remains. Try to lure them into falling down again. I don't think it worked out. Can't really remember. No, oh, maybe it does. Maybe it does. Come on. Yes, yes, that's that's no god damn it. Oh look at me being a badass. I mean there's a black phantom version of these guys standing right in front of me and I, I I'm just completely chilling out switching my items here. Oh why the hell not man? It's not like he's gonna one shot you or anything. And man, the trajectory on throwing items in this game is so weird. And what the hell was that? Oh boy, here we go. I got him. Oh well, that's not a lot of damage, unfortunately. <laughs> there we go. Bam! Do it again. Oh god damn it, don't be so shy now. Well, well, well. Oh, this is a bit tricky. Come on, come on, come on. Do it, do it, do it. Now what the hell am I doing here, man? Trying to block with my weapon? This is madness, dude. Yeah. Fortunately, these guys lose interest really, really fast. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Are you serious? Oh, there we go, man. Basically, you can cheese them this way. But I had no plans of doing so. So I'm not gonna... gonna chain this bullshit. Like getting a backstab on him and then run around the corner, make him lose interest again and then backstab him again. That's not how I like to do things. <laughs> Stormed them right into next week, man. Unfortunately, there's another one. But I have to say, things went surprisingly well here. Maybe I can make him fall off this time. Oh, that, that looks not too bad. Come on, come on, come on. You want it. I know you want it. Come on, get that. Get those soul remains, man. Look at those. Oh, yes, this one's good. This one's good. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, come on, come on. He's not gonna fall off. What the hell? He stuck something. He stuck onto something. God, God damn it, you dumb fuck. No. Can I get a backstab on him? Throw him off? No, oh, it doesn't look like it. What's he doing now? <laughs> it looks like he has a limited vision again now. I don't know. That's a little bit weird with these guys. Come on, come on, come on. Oh boy. It's the same thing over again. Bam! Bam! And... Nope. That's it, that's it. Don't want to get too greedy here. I've made a lot of progress, so... I'd rather play it safe. Bam! Bam! And... nope. Come on, come on. Oh, we're trying to do a little bit of camera turning here. Who the hell needs, needs to look at those guys anyways, right? Yeah, maybe I can throw them off with backstep here. Come on. Come on. Oh no, that was not the right angle. Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 no. 
One mistake. Here I am again. <laughs> it's not over yet. You motherfuckers, I'm back. Come on. Get over here already. Yeah, they have a very limited vision again. I don't know what is it with these guys. Uh, maybe you should do like... Whoa! <laughs> not, not, not that. Wow. God damn it. Oh, look at this! Well, what am I doing? Trying to get my mind around something here because these guys are tough. And it'd be nice to get rid of one of them. And it wouldn't be nice to get hit by him accidentally. God damn it. God damn it, what is it with the trajectory of items in this game? Oh, look at him! What the hell? <laughs> look at this bastard! What is this? What is this bullshit, man? Are you fucking nuts or something? <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh my god. Well, 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 what are you doing now? What are you doing now? Oh my god, the trajectory is so weird. Oh my god, what is it? And look at this, what the hell is this? Is there some sort of invisible wall here? Well, at least he's back to his normal patterns. Alright, let's try the throw off this time. Bam! 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 Not enough. Come on, do it. Do it. No! You should have hit him one more time. Oh, God. Bam! Bam! Those two-handed swings are... Even more dangerous, man. <laughs> He's lost interest again. <laughs> this is glorious. This is so glorious. And there we go for another round. Bam and bam. Oh my god. Are you serious? Ah. Oh. Taking my time with these guys, really. But it's better than starting over again, isn't it? Oh, 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 oh. Ah, finally, man. Shard of Bladestone, wow. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. And there's another, another one right around the corner. And, of course, there's also the... Dual Katana Black Phantom, not far away. Yeah, let's try this again. <laughs> Come on, this doesn't look too bad, do it! Ah, oh, god damn it. Sometimes these things work a th real threat, but sometimes they don't. I'm not gonna do the second hit again. Last time it killed me to do it because he's swinging from the right and I'm gonna hit the wall with the weapon gonna get a rebound and then die oh, oh, what's it with him? oh, it's the same shit again actually, why not call these guys golden skeletons? I think that's easier and I think that's how 
most people will refer to them, right? I mean, you got the asshole skeletons, the roly douches. Then you've got the golden skeletons, these guys. And then you've got the black skeletons with the dual katanas. I think that's, I think that's easier. And by the way, in this video there will also be the Storm King fight include because it's not very long. So I don't think it should it should get a separate video. And yeah, well, I said I'm not cheesing these guys, but actually, what the hell? <laughs> it's gonna take forever. Come on, come on. Bam! Now, this is actually a good way of dealing with these guys. Getting a little bit of stamina back here so I can change a little bit more, but oh, 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 oh. Hyper armor. Hyper armor. Grass up, grass up. Okay. I think we can go for a final blow. And you, sir, cost me a lot of trouble. That's what you get for it, motherfucker. Stomping you right to the ground. Now, throwing off the, the black skeleton is a little bit easier, but first of all, one of the manta rays turns aggro on me. And I'm not gonna take any chances at all here anymore. I managed to kill those two guys. I'm not taking any bullshit anymore here. So who was it? Who was it? Who the fuck just shoot me? Who the fuck wants a beating? Huh? That was you, wasn't it? I can tell. Oh well, you don't like the arrows, man? Yeah, better get away. Well, I'm just gonna move to the same spot again, use myself as a bait. It's the best way to find out. Yeah, it was you, wasn't it? Don't try to fool me. I know your game. What is he doing? Oh, man. Now, the thing is with these guys that they're actually really, really, really big. And I like to underestimate the range. Actually, they are very far away. And you see, the projectiles are gonna follow you a little bit. It's always been this way with souls. Which is kind of weird, but well, can't be helped. So, let's see if I can manage to not get one shot by this guy over there. Oh my god, look at him. He looks he looks like he's gonna kill you, right? And oh my god. Oh my fucking god. How the hell did I just survive that? Come on, fall down, fall down, fall down. No, no, he didn't fall down. No, he's gonna follow me. No. Run, run. Oh everything's good. He's losing interest. Oh my god. You can tell I'm pretty much scared of these guys. I mean, come on. But this is actually a good a good situation for me. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh, he noticed me. Throw him off, throw him off. Yes. Yes. Oh, look at those souls, man. Yeah! <laughs> Got it done! Alright, alright, alright. This is good news, man. There's only one one last thing that's gonna be 
dangerous and that's the last Grim Reaper because he's in a in a very tricky spot. Bam. The weapon's not suited for this kind of area. That's, that's a problem. But it's it's okay. Just gotta think a little bit more. Alright, trying to get this guy into moving towards me, but I don't think he will. Not sure though. And you can't even tell if he's moving or not. These guys are hard to hard to see in the first place. What the hell? Bam, man. No problem. Doesn't look like he got any closer, so at least he's not blocking my way. Yeah, well. Oh, I'm making a run for it. Oh my god, he's gonna shoot me in the back. He's so going to shoot me in the back. No, he's not. That's good. He just laughed at me. Well, it's okay if you wanna laugh at me. Because I just run like a chicken. And this is, by the way, how I like to farm souls in this game. Use the, use the next arc stone, the old hero arc stone. Do a little bit of backtracking. And when you reach the stairs here, you can pull out your bow and shoot this guy. Then move on and kill the dual katana, black skeleton, black phantom from behind. And same for the other two black phantoms. And it's gonna give you a lot of souls. If I remember correctly, about 150,000 souls per run on New Game Plus with Soul First and Soul Suck and all that stuff, you know, all that all that soul farming stuff that they gave you in this game, which I kind of miss in Dark Souls. I mean, there, there is some stuff to, to extend, not to extend, to expand the amount of souls you get, but it's it's not as useful as in this game. I don't know, Demon Souls feels more like a like a classical RPG in, in that matter. But anyways, we're at the boss fight, the old hero. Which is... I don't know, I have mixed feelings about this boss because the basic idea is really cool, but the way you actually play him, I mean you just hit him once, wait for him to do something, then you hit him again, then he's gonna do something, and you're gonna hit him again. Yeah, it's more a test of patience than a test of skills, to be honest. I mean, I never tried fighting him head on, so... I can imagine it being really fun. But I don't really see any purpose to it, as it's not meant to be this way. I think I give it a try at some point. Definitely a new game, not a new game plus. Basically just keep a good distance from him, let him come close, let him do something. There we go. And then you can just run behind him or just wait for him to turn around. Oh yeah, he was he was trying the bow, I think. Trying to see my damage output on this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's forget about it. Instead, we're gonna go close in there. Gonna equip the grass, so if anything goes wrong, you know. And it's kinda weird how he can't hear you. I think that's something they should have made. At least when you're when you're running, he should have hurt you. And there we go. Strong attack. The best way to take care of him is use the the running attack as soon as he, you can see him doing an attack like there so as soon as you see him initiating the animation run straight at him and do a running attack that day that way you will get the counter damage bonus and that's that's what you want because otherwise 
you're gonna deal less damage and the fight drags on necessarily unnecessary sorry oh man go on take that oh well that was only the AOE damage bam that was too slow and this time I'm speeding things up and if you look at the numbers you're gonna see a difference because sometimes I get the counter damage there, I got the counter damage with the running attack there I didn't so if I see this correctly this is 274 for a running attack and with the counter damage bonus it's somewhere around 800 800 and sorry 386 so yeah it's definitely worth it yeah, and yeah, I'm speeding things up of course because it's the same thing over and over again. <laughs> the music sounds weird now. I don't like the music in this boss fight overall. And I think some of the music for this game in general is a little bit awkward. But on the other hand there are some really great tracks. And it's almost over here with this guy. There we go. In a ring. Getting a whole bunch of souls here, wow. And let's go with the Thieves Ring again. And you see I'm just keep on going with the Storm King here. No break this time. Moving straight for the Storm Ruler. Now I'm still kind of debating how to actually use the Storm Ruler properly. I mean, is it better to use it in one hand or two hands? There we go. Got the storm ruler. Only ten durability. It looks cool as fuck. I gotta say that. No badass dodge there, man. Nice prediction. And yes, I like to stay in the house, of course. It's probably the safest spot to stay. Pick up some arrows for no real reason. And yeah. Switching over to this ring, of course, because nothing's gonna hit me in here, I think. Oh well, talk about not getting hit in here. <laughs> well, you gotta keep your eyes open, right? And I'll kill black. Ring of Avarice, look at that man, you get some nice souls from these guys, but I actually killed two of them at once there. So you get for 4.5 thousand souls from each guy, which is nice. So yeah, this is, this is also a good farming spot here. Also, it's a lot of fun to use the sword, isn't it? But yeah, Storm King is not too bad, you just gotta take care of these guys. If you kill a certain amount of them, not all of them, a certain amount of them is enough. Then he's gonna come down and he's finally gonna be in range for your, for your blade, so to say, and you can, you can take him down very hard and if you ask me it's a complete disappointment because there are bosses that show how it's supposed to be and this is not how a final boss of an area should be because basically this guy can't do anything to you And yeah, I mean, Dragon God is another of those bosses which I don't really like. But since there's a little bit of this stealth element to it, I think it's okay. It's better than Bed of Chaos. So yeah, 
I don't mind Dragon God at all. I'm just saying I don't like this kind of boss. Same goes for Storm King. I don't like this boss at all. It's just just something you have to get over with, and that's 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 never what a boss should be like. I think a boss fight should always be something to be to be excited about, to be to be enjoyed. Flameworker is an awesome boss. Man eaters are a pain in the ass, but they are still an awesome boss because. They are really tough. The old monk is something something brilliant that they came up with if you play online, it's so cool. I mean, it can be it can be weird, but the basic idea behind it is, is, is awesome. I love it. Storm King sucks ass. And I'm not even gonna talk about Estrella and Galvinland. Instead, the false king. God damn it. That's how a boss is supposed to be. I mean he's he's just He's just super hardcore, I think. I don't know. The man's giving me so much trouble each time. Come on, take him down with the ball. The only good thing about this is that it's it's pretty pretty, pretty easy to do, of course. Storm King is really easy and can just kill old old hero and keep on moving here to this place, take him out, and then you're done with Shrine of Storms basically. That's that's the only good thing about it. It's it's a fast end. No, come on. No, oh, it's a little bit too far away. I like I like the extended lock on in boss fights. It's something they also have in Dark Souls and I think it's a good idea. They should keep that. Get as many hits onto his ass as you can, because... Yeah... Oh well, wow, there's no lock on, man. Nice. I wonder if we can actually hit his tail. Never tried it. Oh, man. Yeah, you see, this is not very interesting. I mean, come on. Oh, what am I doing now? No, oh, I'm just trying to make sure he doesn't hit me. Man! This does look like I get him done with this one. Oh, maybe, maybe, come on. No. Well, next time it will be over. At least you get a whole bunch of souls. What's wrong with you, man? There he comes. No problem at all. I mean, I can't imagine that he's gonna one shot you if you not take a cover, but. Yeah, well, I don't know. There's just so many ways to take cover in this area. So I don't see any problem with this boss. Except for it being boring and too fucking easy. But then again, the, the Shrine of Storms bosses are actually really easy. The levels themselves are the tricky part. And that's why I think I keep coming to this place. As, as let's say, my first world to, to complete because... You can get a whole bunch of souls here. There's no denying that you get a lot of souls from this place. I mean, look at that. I got 700,000 souls now. That's not too bad. I can drop all this stuff, man. I'm not gonna use it anyways. Come on, let's let's be honest here. I'm gonna keep the second Knight's Shield because I want to upgrade it with the Cloudstone. I want to see how the magic resistance goes up. The magical block. I'm gonna do some testing here. There's more Cloudstone, I think. What's this? Oh, well, that's also useful. And yeah, the video is almost over. 
It's been even longer this time, I'm sorry. But it's gonna gonna be this way for the whole run, I think, for the whole Demon Souls run. But yeah, I enjoy laying back for an hour and watch watch somebody play a game. So I hope you can do that too. I hope you enjoy watching somebody play games and talk a little bit smack here and there. And yeah, I'm not I'm not sure if I'm gonna show the the Nexus stuff here. We'll see. Get a pure cloudstone every time there. And then we're back to the Nexus. Oh yeah, these ring, very important man, very important. So what am I doing? Am I consuming all the salts now? I mean I got a whole bunch of salt. Let's see how many I can I can get after consuming all of this. Keeping all this stuff. Not gonna use the the colors once. They are very important still. Gonna use the small thingies here first. Oh, now it's getting somewhere. Now it's getting somewhere. Oh, yeah, this looks more like it. Come on. No, yeah, well, actually, it's not very much. Uh, oh, but we got a bunch of boss souls here. That's good. Oh, well. <laughs> This one's not very, very valuable, I guess. Uh, oh, this one was good. That was a good one. Oh, that's also a good one, yeah. Alright, so somewhere around 800,000 souls. That's not too bad. That's quite a few levels, I guess. Can we equip the grass here? And yeah, I think this is the end of the video. I'm gonna do Hello some again. stuff here. I'm keeping a What am I doing? No, I don't have any more salt. I'm getting rid of something I don't need. No, yeah, no need to take those with me anymore. Yeah, well, next thing coming up will be. What is it? I think. I think I'm gonna visit. Stone Fang next time. So yeah. Armor Spider, Flame Lurker, Dragon Guard, all the good stuff is coming up. Really love the place. And also I'm gonna try to evade Valley of Defilement for as long as I can. Don't let them take it from you. Can I visit Gold of Bowen here? Yeah, I know you can forge weapons, let's see. No, oh, well. No interest, eh? I can. So yeah. Oh well, I'm entering this area. Let's see what I'm doing. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna visit the merchant and then return back to the nexus. Breaking my own rule. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm not fighting anything, so. I just come here to buy some shards and then I'm gonna leave again. I wanna do some upgradings first. Come on, let me do that, please. Oh, well, I'm gonna take on the. Let's see what he drops on pure black. I'm actually very interested in that. <laughs> Look at him. Wow, that was actually close. Oh, Shard of Hearthstone, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm buying a lot of a lot of those <laughs> just for the hell of it because I can you know because I can but anyways I'm gonna visit this place rather rather soon <laughs> there's the primeval demon over there 
gonna take him down to because I need my souls. What the hell? I didn't edit this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, oh, but it wasn't too long. What are you doing here, chilling around, you filthy woman? I no, no, sorry. Actually, she's a nice girl. Oh, yes, that's more like it. But first of all, let's take the shield up. Let's see, 69. Get a little bit more. This looks a little bit better now. 74. Oh, come on. Can I get this to plus 10? Can I get it to plus 10? No, no, not yet. Not yet. Got a little bit more. Oh, well, whatever. Guillotine eggs. Like I said, I'm gonna take this to blessed. To the blessed upgrade path. Not upgrading it yet because I don't need it, I guess. Yes, I'm going with the bow first. Which is a good idea because it's going to come in handy at some point. Quality or normal path. Gonna need a little bit more hard stone. But that's okay, I got a whole bunch of souls so I can buy stuff. Oh, but actually I can't buy stuff and... Because I can't buy large hearthstone shards yet. But you see, it also takes... It also takes a lot of souls to repair my stuff here after this long run. Do come back alive! I need your business. But anyways, I don't think I'm gonna do the leveling up this time. I'm gonna see it in the next video. It's been really long, sorry for that. And yeah, hope to see you guys back with Stone Fang.